Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to do a review and swatch video on the Balm Meat Matte Hughes Liquid Lipstick. So I recently got this about a week and a half ago or two weeks ago from my David Jones stores here in Australia and I'm already in love. So I wanted to share my thoughts with you. Um, so I have three shades here and these retail for $20 per piece in Australia. Yes, it is $20 in Australia. It's not bad though, it's not bad. Um, but when I got them, they were 30% off, so it was like $13.50 or something like that. So that was great. So that's why I picked up three at one go. So yeah, these are called the Balm Meat Matte Hughes Liquid Lipstick long-lasting liquid lipstick so this is the outer packaging to be honest I don't like the balm packaging I just feel like it's too much it's like the benefit ones I don't like the benef benefit and the balms packaging I just feel like it's too much um, but yeah that's the outer packaging a bit boring like whatever and then they have the color just listed on the top so these are the three shades that I have and the packaging looks like this, it's the silver lid and you can see the colour and there's like a boy and a girl. So these contain 7.4ml of product which is really good for the price and the shade selection is kind of, I don't know, maybe they could expand on it. There are 8 shades in the range, I've got 3 here. There's like three shades that are like very similar. There's two nudes, there is an orange, a pink, um, but these are the only ones that kind of attracted me. There was another one that attracted me too, but I was like, I have too many reds, so I didn't need them. But I just got three. So I'm gonna be jumping in and showing you guys how it looks on the lips, and then I'll tell you my thoughts on these. So the applicator on it is a doe fruit applicator. Focus. That's the applicator, just a stupid applicator. And guys, my favorite part of this, it smells like aero chocolate, like mint chocolate. Straight up mint chocolate. Oh my god, it's the best smelling lip product that I've ever owned. It's amazing. First shade I have here is Charming and it is a beautiful mid-tone pinky mauvey colour. It's a really nice shade for my skin tone. Nice and like a nudie pink kind of shade and on lighter skin tones will be like a d darker nudie pink kind of colour. Really like this shade on my skin tone and it applies really smoothly um, without any patchiness and it's very easy to apply as well just quick and easy and it dries down nicely it does stay a bit tacky but it applies really really well and it stays on the lips without drying like drying out your lips so the next shade I have here is devoted and it is a beautiful vibrant Pinky red color. I really 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 like this on my skin tone. Looks really nice and vibrant. Love it That's what it looks like Super pretty again applies really smoothly. No patchiness. No streaky Yeah, love it that is devoted Sorry about the messy application, but the last shade I have here is Adoring and it is a deep, ready, maroon, burgundy kind of colour. It's like a burnt, deep maroonish red. I don't know, it's just a dark winter shade and it is a beautiful colour. Again, no issues with the formula streak free and no patches or anything goes on smoothly so that is adoring so those were the three shades of the meat matte hues I really 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 like them they are very comfortable to wear and the wear time on them is about seven to eight hours which is great I love it it is 
yeah, it doesn't dry your lips. It's comfortable. It's a little bit tacky when you do that, but whatever. Like, it's not bad at all. Um, yeah, it's just really comfortable to wear. And my favorite part that it smells like mint chocolate. Like, it's amazing. So, I really like it. I just wish they have like more shades, different shades, if you get know what I mean. But yeah, other than that, um, I really like him. I will be picking one or two shades more up, but I wouldn't own the whole collection because I don't like all the shades. Um, and they're not unique enough to own all the shades, but I really like the ones I own. Anyways, it's all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you've tried Meet Matt Hughes and what you think of it. And I will see you guys in my next video.